Hi, my name is Cindy, and this is my husband Jack, and we have a daughter. Her name is Jacqueline, and she is five years and three months old. Uh, when she was four, four years and ten months old, we saw Dr. Nugrander for the first time and began the first series of MB12 shots. And just to tell you what Jacqueline was like prior to the MB12 shots, um, it was very difficult for her to pay attention to anything. Uh, she seemed to be in a sort of a fog, um, very hazy, uh, very difficult to redirect and focus. Um, she had very limited play skills, um, looked to adults for all kinds of support and, uh, and interaction. And I'd say the biggest thing was her vocabulary. Uh, Jacqueline had probably between 10 and 20 words uh, prior to starting the MB12 shots. Um, and we were able to find Dr. Newbrander, and we started the shots on November 5th. And we are now almost uh, through five months of shots. And we can tell you that the difference that this has made in Jacqueline's life and in our family's life has been outstanding. Um, first of all, her vocabulary has increased a hundredfold. I mean, she has hundreds of words now. She, her average sentence length is between three and five words. Uh, she points things out regularly. Uh, she's interested in more things. The fog that has been with our daughter for so long has seemingly vanished. There, there is no fogginess anymore. She's much more alert. She's interested. She's interesting. Uh, she's much easier uh, to pay attention. She pays attention to things much easier. She needs less redirection. Um, also, prior to starting the shots, we didn't want to tell any of her, of her teachers at school that we were starting these. We wanted to see if there was going to be a noticeable difference in the regular classroom environment that she's in. And she attends a special education class uh, classroom where there are children on the ASD spectrum and also mainstream children. And we wanted to see if over a period of time that the teachers would come back with any kind of commentary. And we would say that probably by Christmas time, which was two months into the shots, we started getting notes home that said Jacqueline had a great, underline great day. Uh, she was much more focused. Uh, she was the last child to leave the art table because she was working so diligently on her piece of art that day. Um, she's beginning to do the motions to the songs and starting to sing with the other children when it's circle time. Um, she's less timid. Uh, she's more interested in the activity that's going on rather than just kind of standing off by herself, uh, looking into space and kind of watching other activity. So that, that's just been tremendous. And uh, we still haven't told them. Uh, we just want to kind of see what the natural progression is going to be as the school year, as the school year continues. Um, if there's a negative side to the shots, uh, we have only found that there is one. And this, this is in regards to her sleep. Um, after the first six-week cycle of shots, uh, we had no issues with sleep. First of all, we had no issues with sleep with Jacqueline at all, ever. She was always a very good sleeper. Uh, after the first six-week cycle, she began to wake up sometimes once, sometimes twice, sometimes three times during the night. Uh, she'd run into our room, and one of us would have to escort her back to her bed, tuck her back in again, lay down with her for a few minutes, and then leave, and then she'd fall back to sleep again. Uh, we've noticed that the last three or four weeks, she's been waking up mostly one night, sometimes twice, and sometimes she doesn't wake up at all at night anymore. So we're kind of seeing that kind of cycle through. Um, what else can you think of, honey, to add? Well, I think that uh, in terms of anything noticeably uh, disruptive, in terms of a pattern for the family, it's really the sleep. Uh, the thing that we had some trepidation about early on was, was actually administering shots. I think anybody would. Uh, everybody has a personal version of pinpricks, and, and uh, we think about what we used to go through as a child, and, and uh, we're, we're anxious about that. Turns out that these needles are very short, and they're very, very thin. They're almost just like a pinprick. And um, you can do them so quickly at such a low angle that they enter the skin just underneath the surface and it's over before a person even knows it happened. So it's more, I think, about the parents getting used to it and what they're doing to their child than it is for the child. And uh, it's gotten out of where Jackie just, uh, you know, gives us the three, four seconds we need to do it and it's over with. And, and uh, so I would just, uh, for parents I know we're going to have a concern about that. It's not a big deal. Uh, and it's certainly well worth it for the benefit that you see. Uh, Absolutely. There's no, no other reaction to the shots. And we've decided to do the shots when she's awake. We don't do them prior to her you know, falling asleep, and, and that's certainly a, a method that I know many parents do. But we just do it first thing in the morning. She gets up, she gets her shot once every three days, and the day starts, and it goes on, and it's no problem. We've just incorporated it as part of her, as part of her life. Um, we would never want to stop the MB12 shots. Uh, you know, let me be honest and say that we don't see growth every single day. 
There are weeks when we see tremendous growth in our child, especially if Jack is traveling on business and he'll come back after five days and very often he will say, wow, is this the same kid? This is, there's such big changes in her maturity and in her uh, uh, space and in an environment. Uh, she's less timid. She's more outgoing. Um, and then there's some days where it's not quite that way, but we see, we see a slow but steady climbing of her progression uh, over the past four and a half months that we've been doing this. And we are confident uh, with Dr. Newbrander's care and support uh, and continuing the MB12 shots that we will continue to see Jacqueline mainstreamed into school and recovered. And uh, we, will, we will stop at nothing less. Well, we're, we're certainly encouraged by, by all of that. And I, as Cindy said, we see the growth. This is almost like a step function mm -hmm. where we'll see growth and then maybe plateaus for a week. And of course, we're anxious to see the next increment. Right. But it's also important to remember where we started this journey five months ago. There's been so much growth and change. And of course, human nature says, well, so give me more, give me more. So you kind of lose perspective if you don't look back. Dr. Newbrander continues to have a discipline in how he works with, with the parents and the patients to, to make sure we recall where we started and how much progress there has been from that point. Uh, and he jokingly asked us uh, after our first uh, uh, six weeks on the shots uh, if we really thought Jackie was a responder. And we said, yes, we did. And he said, well, okay, so uh, what I'd really like to do for the next few weeks is uh, we're just going to stop the shots. And we both went, what? No, no. And he said, okay, then I know that you think it's significant enough. We said it's been very significant. So well, stopping the shots, in our opinion, uh, certainly wasn't an option. It was almost a shock that, that uh, one would consider that because we had just started and we saw such a dramatic change. Uh, Cindy mentioned before that, that it was like a fog had been lifted from Jacqueline. I, I think that the, uh, the result of all of that that we saw was a much more focused child. Uh, her ability, her attention span, uh, the fact that she could stay over a task longer really opened up the whole aperture for her in terms of her ability to absorb what was going on around her, to react to things appropriately, uh, and to learn. Um, also, we had seen an awful lot of, of uh, uh, reaction from her prior to that uh, around noises. Noises always managed to really throw her off. And um, she had uh, a much better ability to cope with that and to assimilate them. Not that she stopped right away of noticing them, but she didn't cower in the corner and they didn't shut her down. Uh, and she had a much better uh, ability to deal with that. And I think uh, the whole Methyl B12 um, regimen that she's been on has, has really uh, enabled her to start to learn and absorb and to uh, realize the environment around her, at, both at home and at school. Uh, and just to further uh, add on that, just a couple of weeks ago, we took Jacqueline to a local nursery and they were having a flower festival filled with balloons and flowers and the Easter Bunny and typically that would be something where Jack and I would say I don't know, there sounds like there's going to be a lot of people and noises and it's not going to be fun for anybody. We said, you know what, let's go, let's try it. We went and uh, Jacqueline marched right in with us, she held our hand, she walked through the nursery, saw the flowers, she got a balloon tied to her wrist and one of the folks at the nursery asked us if our daughter had seen the fish in the fish pond and would she like to go feed them. And prior to that, or prior to MB12, I would have said, oh, okay, stranger, fish pond, noise, no. But she went ahead with him, and we walked over to the fish pond. We saw the koi fish, and he gave her some food, and she threw the fish food in the water and laughed and commented on how fish eat food, fish eat food, fish hungry, fish open their mouth, and she was enjoying it. You almost had to just kind of tear her away from, from any activity. She was having so much fun with it. And consequently, our family had a great time with it. So just seeing Jacqueline able to function in that kind of an environment, a normal environment, as a practically normal kid, um, is a godsend. And uh, we, we can't say enough about that. Well, I think there's another one that, that um, certainly you spent two years trying to get her to, uh, to be potty trained. And uh, after the MB12 shots, um, within two weeks, all of your efforts that had just continued to drag on and on and on just came to closure. Uh, and she was, uh, she mastered it. it. Yeah, I can say if you're a mom who has spent weeks in the bathroom with your child, um, sitting across from that potty uh, on a stool yourself, waiting and encouraging and hoping and cajoling mm -hmm. and, you know, trying anything and everything um, to exasperation and, you know, the starts and the stops, I can tell you that 
we were close, but uh, once we started the MB12, like Jack said, within two weeks, she was done, and she is done. Uh, no mistakes, as we say. And uh, big girl underwear, and she's proud about it, we're proud about it, and that has also been a wonderful, wonderful change to normalize a child that's four or five years old into what the other kids are doing. So that's great. Um, well, I think in just in general, the MB12 regimen and what we've been doing here for the last five months has really kicked everything up a notch for Jacqueline. Her awareness, her ability to cope with her environment, uh, her ability to complete tasks. Her language, her, language. her cognitive ability, uh, her executive function have all increased. Uh, uh, she's not off the spectrum yet, but we're confident that with continued use with MB12, uh, the future looks the brightest that can possibly look for our daughter. Well, it's certainly been hope for us, and we've looked in a lot of places, and this has given us a tremendous amount of hope. So. Thanks.